This video is brought to you by Let's Synthesize Academy, the number one place for practice-oriented courses for serious music producers. Hey, in this video I'm going to show you how to go from this to this. Okay, so what I did here is I took this click sound, this Foley sample, put it into a sampler, a reverb and a humanized MIDI, which basically just randomize the delay between the notes and add some velocity randomization. So this is how it sounds in a sampler. So as you can hear, it basically has no tonality at all. And the secret weapon to turn this sound into this is the corpus. So as you can see, I put this little click sample, I obviously just leveled it, and this is how it sounds on itself after leveling. I applied a frequency shifter, but I pulled back the driver to about 60%, and this already gives some very nice signy kind of sound. Now after that I went to the corpus, and I put the low random preset. I modified some of the parameters here and basically what you want to know about Corpus is a resonator kind of plugin. And what it tries to do is emulate physical stuff, physical resonators, for example like a snare skin, a pipe or anything like that, that you can switch here. So for example you can choose from physical stuff like beam, a marimba, a string, a membrane, a plate, a pipe, a tube, anything like that. And you can set several parameters here. Now the most important part is the decay and obviously the tune. All of the other stuff like the material, the listening right, listening left and brightness in harmonics are stuff that you can experiment with but the most important part is the decay and the tune obviously and of course the type of the resonator. So if you want to achieve different result just try out different algorithms, tweak the decay, the tune I love to set my samples into C, like C3. Okay, let me redo it. And if you want to go really crazy, you can turn on the LFO and add some huge random stuff to it. But be aware that you need to resample your sound after using the LFO or after using Corpus at all, because this will result, always result a different sound on every hit. So this is why I resample this sound and used up this in the sampler. But before we go forward, I applied an EQ8 where I chopped off the very lows and chopped off the very highs because the OTT bring out so much unwanted frequencies that we really need to EQ them out. And when I drop it into a sampler, Corpus is a lifesaver, you can create amazing sounds, amazing instruments from every full sample basically if you want. And I can't suggest you enough that try to experiment with this because it is a huge effect. I hope you enjoy this and you can reach this project if you want from the descriptions. And don't forget to check my academy for awesome start to finish courses. I was Dan Larson and see you next time guys. Peace.